This is our first official time that we've done the all day winter solstice run. I'm really excited. Yeah. So you feel great. has a very good flavor to it. We're also doing a project there um, where we're raising funds to do a gender equality program. So would you like to try yeah, it? Yeah, that sounds awesome. Let's do it. Right, here you go. We bring it up for you. We also are selling them in bulk. Now when you buy it, buy a good coffee. It's for $14.95 and $5 a bit. It goes straight to the project. Oh, so $5 gender quality? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, let's do it. It's great right. coffee. Well, we appreciate your support for the project. Yeah. Ah, it's good coffee. I appreciate your good coffee. See you later, sir. See ya. For starters, um, we're always looking for uh, really good producers around the world, okay, that uh, we work with a lot of small growers around the world uh, rather than larger states. So we're always looking for relationships where we can make an impact. Uh, and the political change in Congo, really over the last year, even two years, uh, it's gotten a little bit the opportunity for us to go in and work in that region really presented itself. What a cool cause it is because, um, you know, I drink this coffee every day. This is mile 15. I know how I feel when I'm treated unfairly because of my gender, but I can't even imagine what these women go through on a daily basis. I'm heartbroken for each time a woman struggles to feed or clothe her children, and if it were me, I would hope that there was someone out there who would care enough to do something. I want to show my daughter that gender inequality is not okay and that you can actually make a difference. You don't just have to sit by. One thing that's very important is communities around the world working together for a common objective. And in Solstice Run, it's an opportunity for people in the United States to come together, run, raise awareness, and raise funds as our friends in the Congo are working hard to produce the coffee that we purchase every day. I want to go to the Congo and um, run seven marathons in seven days. Um, it seems, you know, people have done crazier things, but um, I uh, haven't been out of the country too much. Um, just the word Africa is a heavy word. I'm just sort of concerned about being able to run seven marathons in seven days. That's, that's tough, and um, you know, if I can hold up physically, I'm going for it. Okay, so, so tell me when to start and I'll tell you my little story and you can ask me. I'm cooking today for Project Congo, an important Amavita on the ground coffee event happening on, on Saturday, which is tomorrow. So I better get cooking here. I have traditional African recipes, something called Sukuma Wiki. In Swahili, that means they're stretching the meal to the end of the week. So maybe cooking is one way to unite us all. Certainly coffee is. We had eight, eight runners that started this morning at 6.30 a.m. in front of River Rock Coffee in St. Peter, Minnesota, and joined us in the circle of runners here in Florida via FaceTime. So we had a remote connection where we had a satellite run happening at the same time that we had the main on the ground run of the 40 miles. So it worked out to be a fantastic way to get everybody involved without having excessive travel. And I think it's something that a lot of different coffee shops and cafes would love to be able to do in their local communities. And the levels of community involvement are much richer in that sense. In the case of Congo, um, 
gender equality in the region that we're buying coffee was really a, a real immediate need. And of course we have uh, on the ground in the Congo and we're supporting that and that is ongoing. The gender equality issue just hangs over Africa all the time. So the funding of Project Congo, uh, one of the initiatives is using the GAL system, Gender Action Learning System, which is training partners, um, showing, using vision mapping to show them the value of, of each of them in that relationship. Yeah, I just want it to be known that they create this goal together and this long-term yeah. thinking is, is so new to them and yet so impactful because they've never been in this position where they can think long term. It's always short term survival mode. Um, so they're mapping out their goals together, um, seeing the value of each of them within that relationship and appreciating that. And that cultural shift feeds down into their children. And, it, and if they learn it as a partnership, then they can teach it to the other partners. Um, so we, we can train, if two partners can, can make it, um, they can teach it to their neighbors. It's been a great journey. It's going to be a continued journey. Um, it also inspires our staff because our staff really wants to work and make a difference as well. Uh, so it's a core part of our organization and our, really part of our soul of Amma Vida. So, and just our starting point for the Congo. Okay. Did I start up? Je veux aller danser sur la piste, mais tout le monde me regarde, me dit que ton déhanché fait peur.